I've been driving through these all these trees down. They are massive trees. It is like a war zone up here. Been going through at a K now, and I wasn't going to worry about it. But you got to be up here. It's just they're all absolutely laid over. So when that wind came through with all that soft ground, uh, look at it in front of me. It's just it's like a you know like they're doing some logging and they've just coming. But it's just literally they have all blown down, and it would have completely blocked this track. And there's been some massive track clearing going on you know have a look at the size of these things i mean that one there's probably about 500 diameter um you know not the biggest ones by far would have been sloppy and wet coming through here as well probably do a bit more trimming of trees but there is just so much timber on the side of the road here it's ridiculous i don't think i've ever seen so many trees in one spot that have fallen down it's just crazy Anyway, we've definitely found a full drive track. It's not much of a track, it's not very wide. Fair bit of debris around. Not that well used, but it's a black track on new tracks. It's unnamed. So yeah, we're finding out all about it. I'm gonna make an adjustment on this stick for everybody. As I go, bit of cleaning up. But uh, this could get this could get a bit gnarly the way it's starting to look, but uh, lucky it's dry once again. A bit tight also. I reckon you could just about make this a red track, not a black track. Almost. It's headed that way. Yeah, you want a four drive track, you definitely got one going up here. So yeah, it's near Mount Wilson. So we've weaved our way around and up there it was just off Roach Road. So Probably best stick to it in the dry. We're going all right in the dry. So far, so good. It's a, definitely a full drive track. If anyone has any trouble, yell out as soon as you do so we can uh, pause up and make sure everyone gets through all right. Yeah, but it's pretty cruisy. Just uh, definitely a full drive track. Roger. So it sounds like everyone's going all right. No news is good news, they said. <laughs> so we'll keep cruising up. If there's any action, we'll let you know. So it sounds like someone's coming back a bit more, having another go. Yeah, so, now put the back wheels up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I might just uh, slow up way here a bit. Because if anyone's having any trouble, we need to be, uh, need to be able to help out. Alright, so we'll just hang around. Alright, so we're getting up this track to Mount Wilson on uh, new tracks is red. Red means crazy. We'll see what happens. It's definitely looking like it's going to start looking rough here. So I'm going to put the front locker on in preparation so I can hopefully pick my line a bit. Stay off some of these rocks. So we've got the LSD in the rear. It's been shimmed up when we had the pinion, change of pinion seal and bear and did all the bearings and that. This rock here. I'm gonna go up hard right actually, make a new track if that works. The front locker absolutely transforms these cars, gotta tell you. And you just go and make your own track. I think I might get out and get some footage of these other guys coming up there. Um, but I think we've got a feeling is that the worst of it? We've got a tree on the track just here, locker off. I think that's the worst of it. But we'll see, I'll just park up here for a bit. We'll go 
go back and uh, get some footage outside of the vehicle. So hopefully you can see what it's like. The old BJ did all right. Beautiful. Is that the locker's on? Rear, rear locker, nicely. Could have gone up right yeah, yeah, that's it. I've got it, so I'll use it. A bit sketchy. Spit a couple rocks out. There you go. Nicely done. Beautiful. This one's got a bit of squeak going on. Just to give you an idea, it is steep. Give it the gas, mate. Send it. On that line's good. That's it. Bit of a squeak going on there. So you just pick the right line and let the KO2s do the work. Little bit of rough, challenging track. Not too steep. No big holes where it's dangerous. As long as you keep it pointing straight up the hill and on the gas or the brakes it will just uh, be a bit of a challenge this one's letting the traction control come in and do a bit of work there you go you got the right rear spin and the left front a little bit more gas and that'll probably pick it up i reckon could be wrong slightly different line or a bit of momentum yeah a bit slow that uh, Hilux traction control, same problem. This is a 2014. And when they're flexed up and you lose traction, that's it. It needs a fair bit more right foot in the Hilux compared to the Prado. When you can smell rubber, you know you're trying. That's it, bit of momentum. That's it, good line. I'm watching the driving, not the uh, camera too much. Look at that, beautifully done. All I'm gonna say is because it didn't have the KO2s, it did a bit harder than the other Hilux. You know, the other Hilux has got the Dobinsons and the KO2s. Happy days. The V6. It's got the K-On underbody protection. We can see it from here. It's a lot of loose rocks, yeah? I just thought I'd do that just to make it more interesting for you. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. No, I'm just mucking around here. Different line, probably go all right as well. It's a Prado, mate. Tow bar, there you go. Tow bar touched a bit, that's all. Final customer, or last sucker for punishment, depending which way you look at it. Track up to Mount Wilson in red on new tracks. It's just this little section here. The fun starts around about where he is there now, depending what line you take. Like I said, he's got the L plates on. 
overseas guests driving uh, Oz Prado crew vehicles. What else would you want? Come for a holiday and uh, drive someone else's cars up the roughest tracks in Wombat. That'll do the job. Nicely Big done. Big tree down. So we turned around 100 metres from Mount Wilson Trig Point. And, uh, boy, I was wondering if that was going to hit. I'll take it a bit slower over the back wheel. Hopefully not lose the rear mud flap. Big rock was there, that's all. Well, I've got a couple more big rocks here to go over. Choices. Left, right, left, right. Might go over to the left side. The car seems to want to go that way anyway. And that's pretty much it for the uh, rough of the rough. This is just loose standard, loose and rough sliding around. But the, uh, yeah, it's only like 50 metres. Plenty of loose rocks here though. The odd one touching the uh, underbody protection. Anyway, we'll cruise down. 